Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for December 2023. It is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your current energy, the near future, which you don't see coming, and then what Spirit wants you to focus on this month. We'll clarify that, and then we're going to take a look at what's going on with you and your person, or whoever's on your mind. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys for all of your support. If you are new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you'll consider subscribing. And if you would like a personal reading, that information's in the description box below or the about section of my channel. All right, so let's see what's going on with you guys. All right, so we have your overall energy. We have the Queen of Wands. I think this is... A it's interesting because the first thing I felt was like, sometimes things can just knock us off. Um, I, I don't want to say a pedestal, knock us off of our typical game. Um, there may be a time, just December's energy. It could be that you feel like you need to take a step back and sort of give yourself a little bit more time and energy, especially if Something has been testing your self-worth, your self-value. I don't think that, that we all have those, by the way. That's not something that's unique to anyone or any reading. We have moments where things will trigger us. It could trigger an old wound. It could trigger something that's connected to your self-worth. Um, something may pop up this month where you just need to take the time to focus on you and rebuilding that, especially when something happens in our life that does bring up old wounds, it can trigger exactly what I'm talking about. So if for some reason you feel a little off and you haven't been as energetically speaking on top of your game, December just feels like it's a time where you could take a time out. And I know you can't take a time out from life. We all have to do what we have to do, but let's see what the current energy says. Okay. So it's right now, whatever's been going on has pushed you, I think, to the edge. And the current energy is about you having the strength and the courage and the wherewithal to keep pushing through. Um, the emperor's in reverse, so you could be dealing with somebody who let you down. Um, this could also be that you're being triggered by a boss figure or were being somebody who's being out of character, partner, somebody of that sort. Um, and it just doesn't, it doesn't feel very good. I'm going to be honest with you. So if you've been triggered a lot lately by this type of energy, by somebody that was either acting controlling or something, you had to be really strong to push through it. Um, it could have brought up a lot of different things. So under that, we have the world in reverse. So this may feel like a pattern. It could be in relationships that you feel like you keep repeating the same thing. And it's people who aren't really there and supportive and know who they are. And I think it's taken a lot of strength to get through those lessons for you, however long it's been for you that this has been going on. Um, let's see if we're about to show. Okay, yeah, there's an injustice, no doubt. There's an imbalance within relationships. See, you know who you are. And it doesn't mean that I'm reading just for the females. It it's, doesn't matter what the gender is. Whoever the person was, was not in their energy. But there was potential, at least you thought there was. And I can see here, because the emperor and the empress... So it's two people who clearly um, had some potential and maybe for a long time you thought this was it and then something changed. Something has definitely triggered not great feelings and it feels like, well, why? And then we get the justice card, which is Libra energy. So you could be dealing with someone who's a Leo, a Libra, Leo, Sag, Aries, Taurus, Aries. I, I get a lot of Aries and Leo. Um, doesn't have to be though. So with the Empress, it's like you're trying to maintain yourself and your dignity and you just realize that something isn't balanced the way that it should be. And it takes a lot to push through that energy or to separate yourself from that person. You may not have if you're in a relationship with someone, um, especially if there's just difficulties or arguing or something has changed about them but you've decided that you want to stay. So things may seem out of balance. It could be somebody from the past as well. Let's keep going. So the seven of pentacles in reverse tells me that you're not waiting. There's something in you, whether you have done it or haven't, there's energy around you that's saying it's not worth waiting for, or you don't want to put any more energy into something and wait for it to see where it goes. 
I'm going to keep going and then we'll clarify. This could also be around work. You could be dealing with a boss and maybe they're just somebody who's highly critical and it takes a lot to push through. And it's maybe at this point you're wanting to make some kind of a change and you may because if it is that out of balance and it's not doing you any good and you know who the heck you are, it may be time to start looking, Queen of Swords. So we don't see coming as you're going to... Um, you're going to get down to the bottom of something. You are no doubt going to cut through some BS and get right to the bottom of it. I can't see you, Ace of Swords. You may not know exactly how to deal with this just yet, but I think you're going to get to the point. As long as you stand true to yourself, that's all that matters. You don't need to know anything else. What matters is that you learn how to not be concerned about everybody else externally to you and just making a decision for yourself in this moment. If it's within a partnership, I'm not saying you don't look out for your family or your kids or you know the important things. If you have to think about those people, absolutely. But this is one of those scenarios in which it really is important for you to choose what's best for you. And as hard as it is, because for this is just feels like it's been out of balance for too long. Ace of Swords in reverse, yeah, and then the Lovers. So it's not surprising that the Lovers card's coming up. If you are out of this situation and it seems as though you're concerned, there may be a part of you that feels like you may repeat another cycle. Here, I feel like, no, you're going to be cutting through BS quickly. If you're single and you want to get to know new people, this could be a possibility that a true, genuine, good connection comes in because you've learned some valuable lessons up to this point. You know who you are. Even if at times you let the little red flags kind of pass by or... You sort of let things go that you knew were probably not the greatest. It doesn't matter at this point. What matters is that you just keep pushing forward. You don't have to know everything right away. You just have to be very clear about who you are. Not necessarily about anybody else. What do you want? What don't you want? Um, it's like the list has to get a little bit longer. That's for some of you. Okay, let's see what Spirit wants you to focus on. Four of Swords, thinking things through, taking a little time, don't rush into things, and also releasing other things that you've been holding on to. If for any reason the idea is I can't change my career, I can't change my job because of money, I, I've been holding on really tightly to something, that's what they want you to kind of do is let go and try to trust a little bit more that things are going to work out the way that they need to. I know that sounds very vague, but... It's when we let go, the energy, because we only frustrate ourselves, especially when things are out of balance or we're not getting where we want to be or it's not happening fast enough. And I feel like there's a combination of a lot of things going on in your energy right now that say, well, I'm holding on to this because this is the path that I'm sure I, I was sure I wanted to go on. And now it's not working out that way. And this sucks and I need to make changes, but I don't really want, you know what I mean? So it's, trying to relax into the energy and allow you to release some of those processes. And that's where, that's where you make your best decisions from. Think things through. Don't hold on too tightly of, to past situations or what's already happened to you. If you've had trauma surrounding money, it can be very hard to make a choice because you've already experienced something bad. You don't want to make the same mistake twice. But here it seems as though your decision making is going to be clear. It's not like you're going to be blinded. It's not like this is one of those lessons where you go through with something thinking that it's the right choice and then you learn a, something difficult from it and the universe is like, yeah, well, you had to learn that lesson so you weren't going to know. You weren't going to absolutely. Don't stop trusting your intuition because something doesn't work out. That's not how this works. We have to go through those things. We have to learn the lessons from them. So just because it's something didn't go the way you thought it was going to go doesn't mean your intuition's out of whack. Just means at the time you weren't supposed to know. I hope that makes sense. So the next is your challenge. So we have the eight of cups in reverse. So it's going to be hard for you to walk away from some things because of your emotional connection to them. Whether it be the person, of course, or a job situation, or even your old belief systems that you may have trouble really releasing or resonating with something new in order to allow um, this new experience. Clearly, they want you to to get straight about what you want. So December could be bringing in a lot of endings to some chapters of your life so that you can then start this new one. 
Let's see what we get when we clarify. Because whoever this person is, I don't care if there's somebody from five years ago or current, they just were not the right partner. All right, so with the Queen of Wands in reverse, there's that Eight of Cups energy. See, the challenge of walking away, we have it here. It's like you recognize that you need to do so because it's not making you feel great. But sometimes that takes a lot of energy. So yes, I think there's thoughts about walking away, leaving something that's been difficult behind, putting up new boundaries. Seven of Wands can be protecting yourself, you know, maybe sometimes a little too much because to me, there's two different energies that can come with this card. Either you've got a lot coming at you and you need to set proper boundaries or sometimes everybody has opinions about what's going on with what you're doing and that also frustrates you or puts you in a place where you're like, I, I just, I can't, I have to make these choices on my own. Now the seven of wands, after that we have the nine of pentacles. So something's definitely thrown you a little bit off um, with the nine of pentacles in reverse. So you, you could feel like you're just not as stable or as grounded. Doesn't mean you're not going to get there. It just feels like that's what the energy is right now, especially if you're making changes. Strength with the Emperor in reverse, Three of Cups, is just not something that feels great. I'm going to keep going. There's the Ten of Swords. It's like you know the deception of some sort was there, but you want to put it behind you. So are you completely done? That's a good question because it's in reverse, and I could read it either way. Either you're completely done, upright as when you are, because you've come to the finalization of it. In reverse, it can be the same, or it can say that there's some part of you that wants it to be gone, the feelings, the you know, the hurt, the betrayals, all that, to just clear from your energy. I do think you'll get there. Right now, you just don't seem to be in that place where you feel as balanced as I know you wanna be. Um, although you know exactly who you are and what you deserve, Queen of Pentacles, which is exactly what the energy is of the Empress as well. This is cr getting creative because she's not only is she smart, she knows the direction she wants to go. Um, she can change her mind on the drop of a dime and know that it's okay to do so and still feel stable with it. So you're getting back. I almost feel like if somebody's taking this energy from you, you felt like somebody was sucking the life out of you. You're going to be getting back that focus and that drive that you hadn't had for however long that this has been interrupting your peace. So the Empress with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, that's the Page of Pentacles. I think you just being here and knowing that you're stable and knowing who you are is what's most important. If you're not going to feed into something because the Page of Pentacles is in reverse, so it doesn't feel like there's an opportunity for something to start again. I don't think there is a let's hit the refresh button here. This feels like no, um, it's done and I have exactly what I need to move forward. I'm going to do my best. It's going to take a lot of strength. It's not always going to feel really good. It's going to be a little out of balance out of balance and then, but I'm gonna get really straightforward and clear and cut some stuff out, even if I don't know exactly what that's gonna look like. And then opening up to the possibility of somebody new. There's that nine of swords in reverse. You're not gonna be losing sleep over things. We have the hermit coming out. You're coming out of a stage of feeling, you know, like you're shedding some old skin, which is good because if you're allowing some of this to kind of glide away and you're not holding too tightly onto something that no longer belongs, um, you're gonna feel really free. So just know with what you don't see coming is you coming out of a state of reflection and maybe even hiding for some time. Let's see, with the Four of Swords and the Four of Pentacles in reverse, there's that Wheel of Fortune. So this is what's important. Make clear, concise decisions. Don't hold on to things that didn't work out in the past or ideas that didn't work in the past and open yourself up because something really good is coming. Um, if you had felt restricted within your work environment and you felt like no matter what you did, things just did not seem to go your way, something is changing here. And Spirit wants you to focus on that because yes, this is faded events. These are things that because you right at the right time have learned what you needed to learn, then something comes in and says, here you go. Here's the wheel of fortune. Here's your reward for having gone through this. We have to have re rewards of some sort in this experience. Otherwise, we wouldn't keep going. If it was always really tough things all the time, none of us would still be here. All right. So 
Four of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. We then have the Page of Swords. This is a close yourself off. And this is, I don't say this often because I don't really like to talk about social media, but social media, cut yourself off from social media as well. Don't pay attention to what other people are saying or doing the best that you can. If you can not worry about who's seeing what's going on, don't share all of it necessarily because you've got the seven of wands. So you're protecting yourself from external, but this is like not caring about what other people think, not being blinded by the BS. Page of Swords can also be somebody who's incredibly immature and you want to make sure that they're out of the way while you are receiving whatever this good stuff is. And it could be that you're blocking somebody on social media and that's part of what helps is that you're pushing that energy away and saying no longer so that you can have this great thing come into your life, whether it's financial rewards or something good happening in your career, or you just feeling really abundant because you've got back control of your life. So the eight of cups in reverse in your challenge, we have the emperor. See, this is what happens when you don't walk away. So the challenge is getting away from something that's been holding you back, but the empress is in the upright and the eight of cups is in the upright in the main reading. So even though it may be hard for you sometimes to think that you have the wherewithal to get through whatever the situation is, you do. And it's time. And you will get over it emotionally. It takes time. Do we completely heal from every pain that we ever have? Probably not. You may carry some wounds with you, but you're going to be much better off when you figure out that the only way to get back balance is to see things clearly for yourself and make decisions that are just going to be best for you. All right, so now I'm going to look at you and your person. So let's see if the same thing pops up or if we get something different. This is for Aquarius, please. Oops. This is all over the place. Let's see where your person's energy is. We have the Ace of Cups in reverse, Six of Pentacles. This is somebody who takes quite a bit. Five of Pentacles is in reverse. I feel like whoever this is could have walked away. Now you can flip the script. Doesn't matter which energy is which, but I typically like to stick with what I feel. Um, sometimes cross watchers, just watchers are like, no, that's me, um, or vice versa. So the Ace of Cups in reverse with the Six of Pentacles, I don't feel like this person's offering themselves up. I feel like they tend to abandon things before they can find out if they'll actually work well or not. That's all I feel from their energy. Yours is Page of Cups in reverse. You know things aren't going to change, but there may be a part of you that still feels some draw to this person. Do I feel like they have an interest? Maybe. Maybe sometimes they are giving. Um, that may be what drew you to them, but there's something about this cycle needing to end for you. With the Knight of Wands, you could still feel very passionately connected to them. And that's okay. You can hate somebody and still have a desire for them. You're, what you are so angry about sometimes is the hurt. Well, most times we're angry about the hurt. I mean, if they're a really bad person and they just do horrible things, that's different if you're dealing with a narcissist. But I didn't pick up on that. doesn't mean they're not. Um, your energy could be a little, still a little bit confused about what to do. Um, the Knight of Wands tells me again that there's still some passion there. Or maybe you feel like you need to reconnect with them somehow. Uh, do I think that they'll be there? Maybe, but I don't think things would ever be balanced. I just don't think they have it to give. Let me see what we get with the Romance Angels. This is for Aquarius. All right, so we have unrequited love. There's not enough chem attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. That card really doesn't come out that often. So clearly there is something here that's just not been working out. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So when you're releasing something from the past, even if there's still some fire connection, frustration, whatever it is, if you're still having a lot of um, feelings about somebody, when the engagement card comes out, it could be that you have finally completed this cycle of difficult challenges in your relationships to then meet somebody that you will finally settle down with, if that's what you choose. Let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. So when something comes like in the future, I'll just tell you this. And as a reader, it can be really hard because I want everybody to be happy clearly. When we try to control what's happening in this life because we think everything 
happens a certain way and that's the way it's supposed to be for everybody, one, we miss out on a lot of joy because we're trying to control something that we can't control. And I'm not saying that you're controlling. I'm just saying, if you have control issues, I have them. I think we all do in some capacity. But I think what we do is we end up harming ourselves when we think that we need to, you know, focus on and fret about something not happening the way that we thought it was going to happen. And that's what I think this is saying. So it doesn't matter when it's that you get it. You get what you're hoping for and looking for. Some people think, of, especially women, because then, oh my God, time is going to be up and I'm not going to be able to have kids. There are all different types of things that can happen. And maybe your soul didn't come here to experience that, not trying to crash anybody's dreams, just saying sometimes we really have to take a step back and not make ourselves miserable because we think we don't have something that either everybody else has or we're holding on to the idea that we haven't gotten somewhere that we were supposed to be. Okay. I'm going to keep going and get the Lover's Oracle. Um, I changed my mind. Let's look at the advice. What advice do you have for Aquarius? The Four of Wands. Release the idea of what normal relationships look like. Um, normal commitment. If you have anger around past relationships or divorces or the way things happened before, maybe some of that energy needs to be worked through. Because, see, this is what's so important. It finally came out. I was hoping that the world was going to come out so you'd understand that, yes, you haven't completed one cycle, but you are. So maybe something that needed to be figured out had to be figured out and it was about you because it's never really about the other person. It's always about you and what you need to learn. Could they be an asshole? Sure. But did you put up with it? Yes. So that's the thing. It's always about you. Let's keep going. And the Page of Swords, again, stop. If you're looking at somebody else's Social media, I would say pull back. Um, the Three of Cups, this is brotherhood, sisterhood, having your friends close and spending some time maybe more so with the people that you know genuinely, genuinely care about you, especially if you're going through a difficult thing here where there's not balance within a relationship. I'm not saying it's the end-all, be-all. If you want to work things out with somebody, that's up to you. All your circumstances could be different. All right, let's look at the lovers. Ooh, I saw one that looked like it fit, but it, oh God, this is the one they wanted. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. No doubt. For those of you that had a rough one, a rough go of it, and you're trying to get ready for something new, told you before I felt that. So for some of you, this is going to be somebody new, finally working their way into your experience. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. And then forgiveness, stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. We do. And I'm not saying it's easy to get past, you know, being done wrong. This is absolutely for you and the best that you can do when you can do it. There's no pressure. Playfulness, laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. So if you do have something that you're trying to work on, clearly yes. It's, you know, going at each other is not going to get you anywhere, but trying to be a little bit playful, if it's worth investing in, can definitely be helpful. All right, let's see what we get for the last cards. All right, no place like home. This came out for Gemini as well. You could be dealing with a Gemini. So you could be 50, you're born on the 5th. This can be anything surrounding your home. Um, sometimes it could be a move or just thinking about a move or wanting to make some changes to your home environment. Uh, the chaos and conflict, same with them. There could be some chaos and conflict there. You could be seeing threes a lot. It could be 33, born on the third or the sixth. And then we have a change in the wind. This too is about home environment. For some of you, this is going to take you somewhere completely different. That's not everybody. But you may be feeling like you need a change of environment to maybe change circumstances. And sometimes that is the case. It doesn't mean your problems go away. It just means sometimes... There's a better environment for you. So you, you could be born on the 12th, the 1st, the 2nd, or the 3rd, and then loyal heart. And I know, I haven't seen this card in a while. I know that everybody wants, you know, most people do. Not everybody wants a partner, but most people want their match. They want someone that they can feel balanced with that's going to be loyal. Absolutely. And I think that's really what's most important to you. So you could be 35, born on the 3rd, the 5th, or the 8th of the month. Okay, my loves, those were your messages. Thank you so, so much for being here. I so appreciate you all. I'm sorry for a lot of you that may be experiencing this because it's not the easiest thing to read, but you're coming out of the 
that difficult energy and moving into something really, really good. Think about the Wheel of Fortune and the World card coming out in the upright. Something great is coming into your life because you're closing out that old cycle. All right, my loves, thank you again. Have an amazing month and I will see you in the next one. Take care.